What's up everyone? Is your computer's Wi-Fi card not working? Does it not come with one? Well, I've got a solution. I have this Dell Optiplex 3010. It's an old machine. It's got a third gen i5 and doesn't have a Wi-Fi card. So, I'm going to be installing one. This one. It's a TP-Link uh, TLWN881ND. It can go up to 300 megabits per second, although I've never seen a card like this go to such a speed. But whatever, good enough to get internet connection. Rather than have the little USB dongle hanging off the front of the, the card. So, have a look at this bracket right here. Uh, and then have a look at your case. You think it'll fit? If it stands up taller than this, it probably won't fit. So that means you're gonna swap it out for the low profile bracket. To do that, take a screwdriver, unscrew these two screws here. The old bracket falls off. Keep that in case you plan to install this card on a different computer. Line up the new bracket, kind of hold it in place there and then begin tightening the screws. Okay. You wanna make sure they're tight, but don't over tighten it. So uh, the board snaps in half. Uh, that should be sufficient. Next, set the card aside and open up your case. You might have a couple screws in the back or like mine, a handle. I like the design of these old Optiplexes. I don't know if the new ones still do that. I think they do, but with a tab at the back, you push down and then you can pull the case off. <clears throat> okay, find an available PCIe slot. Kind of looks like that. I am gonna use the top one for this because I don't plan to put in a graphics card in this thing. Uh, doesn't look like it can handle triple A games, that's for sure. So, kind of line it up there with the PCIe slot and also the slot at the back. And, sorry, my hand's blocking it. Let me change the camera angle so that you guys can see a little better. That's better. Just so kind of want to line that up and really make sure it is lined up before pushing on it. Okay, that's good. Now put that back. Now you might be looking at this like my computer doesn't have that. Some of you may have a screw around here. So you want to unscrew that, pop out the slot cover which looks like this and then uh I'm not sure if I bent this one when I was whatever just swap it out doesn't really matter uh <clears throat> then put the screw back so that you can lock it in place uh, computers are built different these optiplexes are just easier to service so now uh you've installed it uh, depending on your operating system, uh, you probably won't need any drivers. Windows 7 and below, possibly, but Windows 10, I know, uh, supports this natively. Windows 11, probably as well. This one's running Linux, so we'll see if that supports it natively. Next step, do the reverse of what you did to take off your, your case uh, side panel, like that. For me, it's just, you know, slotting into place. Next, you want to get to the back of the computer. I'm going to lower the tripod for a second so you guys can see this a little better. Now you got two little uh, connectors. What you want to do is tighten the antenna like that. Make it point up so it gets better uh, signal reception or point in the direction of your router, or whatever. There, here you go. 
you got Wi-Fi on your computer. Let's turn this on and see if it can find networks. Okay, so this computer's got Linux Mint installed on it. We're gonna see if that supports it. Uh, although, just do the same way you'd connect to any Wi-Fi network using Windows or Mac. I have no way, Mac wouldn't support this. Hey, so it says Wi-Fi networks available. Uh, and indeed there are. Here are some Wi-Fi networks. So just connect to your network the same way you would uh, with any other computer uh, in the same menu as your operating system. So you got like Windows 10, 11, whatever. Uh, if you got Linux, do it the same way you would do it there. I don't think this works with Mac, so can't really speak for them. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you found it helpful and remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.